So what is going on, everybody? This is Dustin Goes to Hollywood. And Mally Moore. And we're going to just give you kind of an update about what's what's going on. So uh, if you're familiar with uh, with me, I you know, I was on the Sedicate podcast with some friends last year. And we, we still haven't released the final episodes because I'm that lazy of an editor. Um, <laughs> but yeah, me and Mally uh, are coming up with this idea for a podcast, um, something that I personally have a, a huge heart for, and that's uh, movies that have, n- you know, not so happy endings. You know, uh, movies that don't wrap up in a neat little bow. Uh, I don't know. I've always had a, a, a fascination with that. I like movies that kind of steer you one direction and then at the end kind of leave you hanging. Uh, I don't know. I guess I'm just a pessimist maybe, <laughs> but, uh, so we had, we had this idea. I was like, why don't we, why don't we talk about those movies? You know, uh, give those movies, you know, recommend them to people and just talk about why we like those kind of things. You know, people kind of seem to take it as, um, I don't know. It's like a negative kind of viewpoint. Like you tell somebody, Oh, I love the ending of the mist. And they're like, why? That's such a, you know, a fucked up ending. It's, you know, but a uh, perfect ending for that film, for that movie, though. yeah, especially yeah. Uh, but I like those kind of things because I feel like sometimes life doesn't give you you know a neat little bow at the end of your day. So sometimes you do have things that happen to you that are sad or bleak or whatever. So why you know let's let's celebrate those films instead of being like we need like most movies out today. Uh, unless you're an indie film, you got to have a neat little bow on the end of it. So so yeah, uh, Mally, you want to kind of give your input about that? Like how do you how do, what do you feel about you know, movies that have kind of bleaker endings? That was so eloquent. My answer is not going to be as beautiful. <laughs> um, no, I'm right there with you. It's I don't know, I've always been drawn to that kind of I don't want to say dark and depressing ending, but that I mean that kind of downer ending. Mm-hmm. Perfect example. The classic example of a downer ending: Empire Strikes Back. That's a good point. Yeah, yeah. Now, in my personal opinion, hands down, best Star Wars film. Of course. I don't think you'll get much argument from anybody for the most part. On that. Hopefully not. <laughs> um, but no, I've just always been attracted to that kind of ending. Mm-hmm. Just, I don't know. It. I feel like a lot of really good movies tend to lean a little more towards not so much a depressing ending, but that kind of darker tone, if you will. Yeah. And I feel, I don't know, it, it kind of, puts some kind of emotion in you like right you f- i don't there's not a way a real, a real way to like verbalize it but you kind of feel something in like maybe your stomach turns or maybe your you know your mind starts reeling yeah. but it puts you in a for me it puts me in a, in a different state than like a movie that's got an ending like say uh a new hope if you want to go yeah. to the star wars yeah. out like oh everything worked out fine everyone you know the good conquers evil Everybody gets a medal. I think that's like one of the only movies that like Except celebrates Chewbacca. That's a good point. <laughs> that's one of the few movies that like celebrates the ending. Like it's almost like think of it. A New Hope has quite the downer ending from his point of view. <laughs> it's almost it's like an epilogue to the actual movie. Like right, and, they, right. and they lived happily ever after. Yeah. you know. And those movies just it didn't do anything for me watching them. As, even as a kid, I like okay, but you know. So I, I feel like the. Like, at least for me, like it, the downer ending, I'm going to keep thinking about that movie for a while. Yeah, it, it, it resonates. Exactly. A lot more than a movie with a good, well, I want to say a good message, but yeah, with a good ending. Right. Because even these, these bleaker movies have good messages in them. You yes. just kind of have to find them. And that's kind of the point of what this podcast that we're going to do is about. It's, uh, it's called the Silver Linings Playlist. Uh, we're going to go through, just list off each episode. We'll discuss a movie. Um uh, We'll go through it kind of beat by beat, talk about the making of it. And then at the end, we're going to try and find the silver lining in this movie. You know, even movies that have the most depressing, dark, bleak endings have a silver lining to them. And something, I think that's something you can take away from that movie. Something that, uh, like a life lesson or a moral uh, kind of story that it goes with you. So that's kind of the point of it. We're going to talk about the movies and then give you, here's the silver lining in this, in this you know, sad ass ending or something like that. <laughs> um, I mean, we got we have a ton of episodes already lined up, like movies we're going to discuss. Uh, I'll just name a handful to get you guys kind of interested. We mentioned uh, The Mist. That's definitely going to be one that we'll bring up. Um, are there any on the list that you're looking in particular to doing? Like any of the... Cause I'm, That's a tough call. We were actually just talking about this, but I think one of our favorites is Buried. 
Yes. With uh, Ryan Reynolds. That and it's probably the like biggest fuck you. <laughs> I can't wait to discuss that movie, but it does mean I have to watch it again. Yeah. Which, <laughs> as I was telling Dustin earlier, I love that movie, but I've only seen it once. Whereas I've seen it like and I'm scared times. to watch it again. <laughs> I think that's at the. This is gonna be almost a social experiment for us because at the end of it, after we watch all these movies, like what if we you know do an episode a week or something like that, we have to watch a sad ass ending every week. It's, I think at the end of this podcast, it's gonna be like a social experiment. Like how did that change us, just as people? <laughs> it's gonna be it's gonna be dark. Because some of the movies on this list is just like. Movies that you've seen once and you never want to see it again. Exactly. Like, uh, we mentioned The Mist. We mentioned Buried. You know, we'll talk about uh, Drag Me to Hell. Kind of like a coming out of nowhere kind Sam of ending. Um, you know, uh, the movie Elephant by Gus Van Sant. Just, that you can't really get away from that one. Fruitvale Station. I mean, geez. These yeah, movies that, that you, one. D- you see them once, you're like, I'm good. <laughs> uh, yeah. So we have a lot coming up. Especially when we get to October, you know, we got a lot of horror movies. Um, I think October gener- is going to be a solid month. Yeah, generally most horror movies kind of end with bleaker or sadder endings, but more so in a twist way, whereas some of the ones on our list, they're just set up from the start to be. Right. Yeah, so that's going to be a fun month. But yeah, so that's just to uh, get you guys excited for what we're going to do. Uh, if you like this idea, stick around. Go ahead and you can subscribe to us. Uh, we'll release our first episode pretty soon. Um We'll make a Facebook page, I'm sure, Twitter or something. We'll we'll be out there. So. We'll do something. Yeah. Somehow. And if you like this etiquette podcast, uh, again, I apologize. Those last episodes aren't out yet, but I promise I'm working on them. This, I'm still angry about it too, guys. <laughs> Don't worry. This format that we have going on here is a lot, lot simpler, a lot more <laughs> streamlined. These episodes will be out like hours, I'm sure, after we're done. So, you know. Keep keep with us. <laughs> Stick with us. I promise it's going to be worth it. Uh, but yeah, so if you like this idea... It might be a little sad, but it will be worth it in the long run. <laughs> and that's that's the point. That's the point, right? Right. Uh, so yeah, if you like this idea, uh, stick stick around for our first episode. It's going to be a fun one. Uh, we're already we're getting ramped up right now, actually, to record it. So yeah, uh, go ahead and hit subscribe, and we'll see you then.